back to school is in full swing. My oldest is starting kindergarten and my middle one is starting pre-K. And I gotta figure out school lunches and all that mess, which is what inspired today's video. I wanna prep and make it as easy as possible. So today we are reorganizing two kitchen cabinets. This way I have their water bottles ready to go each morning and also the pantry and the outside drink refrigerator. I'm going to restock the pantry and just get everything straightened out again. So by the time school starts for us, everything will be organized-ish and hopefully easier to make lunches. My pantry and cabinets have seen worse days, but one of my goals is to keep up with the organization. It's never going to be perfectly organized all of the time. And while I have no control over that, as there's so many other people that also live in our house, but I do want to stay on top of it as best as I can. So we'll, it will never go back to the way that it was when I first organized it. So the motivation is here for you if you need it today. But before I get started, I wanted to thank Beyond Body for partnering with me and sponsoring today's video. Beyond Body is the first fully personalized wellness book in the world that combines the ultimate level of customization just for you with top quality content on health and habit formation. It's developed by nutritionists and customized specifically for you because there is no one size fits all when it comes to our health. It's customized by going to the website and taking a detailed quiz to find out more about you and your goals. I filled it out based on the types that, of foods that I liked and disliked and some more important factors about me, like I do have high cholesterols and the goals I want to accomplish. So every book is completely different based on the answers that you chose. I love that it's not just a meal plan, it includes tips on how to be more mindful and relieve stress, your sleeping habits and helping you stick to a schedule, dealing with different social pressures and how to track your progress, where to start and also what to do if you fall off track. There's also an app to help you stay on track. And along with the app, you can find customized workouts based on your activity level and you can do directly from your home. The workouts come with a warm up and an exercise video demonstration, making it a lot easier for you to work out. Another favorite thing about mine is the meals are easy and simple to make. Through the app, you can even create a shopping list for things that you need to get at the grocery store. So with each meal, you also get a couple different substitute choices. So that way, if you don't have something or you don't specifically like something, then you can substitute it with something similar. So for lunch today, I'm going to make this tortilla wrap with cheese using a low carb tortilla, mixing in a little bit of micro kale, which you can substitute for spinach or arugula leaves or spring salad mix. Then I'm gonna cut up some tomatoes, and it does say to add some cream cheese, which I didn't have, so I'm gonna substitute that with a little bit of hummus. I'll put it all together, and then lastly, I'll sprinkle on a little bit of Parmesan cheese. So no special skills or fancy ingredients, and this turned out delicious, and it was simple to make. So right now, Beyond Body is offering 50% off site-wide plus an additional 10% off with my coupon code 10Michelle. So be sure to click the link in my description box below to get your customized book. So I'm first gonna start off in this medicine cabinet, which I did organize uh, a couple months back and it's kind of gotten a little messy again. But one thing I am going to switch out is a lot of the baby food Rye no longer eats. So I'm going to kind of get, create a separate like snacky section for just his foods because he just turned one and then reorganize this space a little bit. Watch me breathe. 
so that wasn't too hard i started kind of in an easy spot so this is what the cabinet looks like before like i mentioned before i or i just organized the space a couple months ago and the biggest thing that i changed was adding those turntables for the medicine and it has been game changer i highly recommend it i have it for all of our kids medicines and then now this is just going to be like a snack area so for rye who's one years old so i just want to kind of keep it clean as best i can now the next space we're moving to is going to be this cup cabinet and my biggest struggle here is that i need some kind of space for the kids like water cups that i guess you could say the ones that they take to school with lids on them not really like everyday cups and also go through a lot of these glasses that we don't use and declutter those and kind of create a better space for kids cups so step one is to declutter and then step two is to reorganize So I love this cup organizer. I have one on the other side. I think it's a different brand, but this one is from Amazon and it has four different cup sections that you can, you know, put cups on. And I'm just gonna put it together here. And then this is where any type of cup that they need to bring to school or we take with us when we are going somewhere is gonna go here. They each have three cups and I think the one is at school right now and then one is uh, um, or maybe two are in the dishwasher. So right now I only have two clean ones. But next thing I need to do is move these cabinets and I didn't know that you could take them out. Basically there's this little metal piece and you can like make them whatever size you need. So I need to create a bigger space on the bottom so that I can fit that cup holder thing and then um, kind of shift all of these shelves up. If you do hear welcome my name is michelle and i'm a mom of three kids five and under but my oldest sailor is starting kindergarten and my middle savannah is starting pre-k they both were at like a daycare preschool before because i do work from home full time and this is their first year going to like let's just say a real school so they're switching schools and it's really exciting so this is our first year kind of prepping and getting ready for all of the school stuff so i do a lot of cleaning and organizing videos and it's not because i absolutely love cleaning and organizing or i'm the best at it it's because i'm in a phase in my life right now where it is very chaotic but is very necessary now what I've learned reorganizing and these cabinets over and over again, also decluttering, here's my decluttering gla um, glasses pile, is that it's, no, it's not gonna be perfect the first time. It's something that you do have to consistently keep up with. So next I'm moving on to my pantry. And if you get anything out of today's video, I want you to know that it's not perfect all the time and that's okay. You're gonna try something and it's not gonna work and you're gonna change it up and you're gonna upkeep it and it's okay. What I've realized after organizing several areas in our home, like disastrous areas, 
is that it's not necessarily about the initial organization of it, it's about the upkeep afterwards. Although something may look pretty, it may not function well for you. Just for example, I have these pretty, pretty cereal bins where I didn't want to see the boxes, so I would put them in these containers and it looked nicer, but it didn't function well. <laughs> they made my cereal stale and I just, I like having the box. So cereal boxes it is for now, but some stuff, I like it being pretty organized. So I like to think, just try it out. If something doesn't work out, then give yourself permission to change it. And it doesn't have to be perfect all the time. So I'm starting with the floor and the bottom space because I don't have a, a small pantry, but it is kind of a tighter space. And I couldn't even barely walk in the pantry, so I needed to take everything out. I did have those little like racks in there, so if you do have a tighter space or a smaller pantry, you can add extra storage by getting those little shelves and they just kind of hook on to the shelf above and those were from m design like i ordered them directly from the m design website i also have this shelf thing i got from ikea and initially i was going to put um, have like meals in there like dinner meals anything that was belonged in the pantry that i needed to cook dinner i could put like monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday dinner in here i never got around to doing that so what i plan to use this little shelf for is to put the girls lunch boxes in so that every day they have somewhere to put their lunch box since we don't have a mudroom area space then i just figured they could put it in the pantry So I got the bento boxes. I know everybody already has these, but this is my first time getting them. So um, actually I got one brand that was the, the bento brand and this is the, what is this? The SL brand. And I solely got it because of the thing on the front, the princesses, because Savannah likes mermaids, a sailor likes princesses. And then the lunch boxes I got from Sam's. So the actual bento box brand, and this other brand is very similar. Like this is the, this one is, is, was a little bit more expensive than the other one, but it had mermaids on it. So this one has a couple different compartments. If you're not familiar with them or you were looking into another brand, the trays come out and then you can just wash those. And then they're easy to just clip, clip together. So what I've heard of these is that the, if you put like ranch or dressing in there, then it stays, it doesn't fall out. And this one is just a little different. So you can see like the difference between, between the two. So the first day of school is actually a half day. So I'll be testing these out on the second day of school. So these little, little drawers, I'm going to have each of their lunch boxes in. And then hopefully like when they come home from school, they can just put them in here and then I can grab them and either make lunch the first day. Um, I mean the night before or the morning of. So if any of you moms make lunches, do you do it the night before or the morning of? Like does the, the bento box, it seems pretty like sealed tight. So do you make it and then put that in the refrigerator or do you put the food in the refrigerator and then pack it into those bento boxes in the morning? Also, if your kiddos started school already, let me know what grades your kids are going into. We've got this conversation and you seem to agree with me. But when there's complications, you withdraw and leave me to be. When there's a problem, you become like a wall. And every time I trip, it's a free fall. Why don't you help?
So I reorganized and decluttered these cabinets a couple months ago and I forgot I had some cabinets with a lot more empty space. So instead of keeping all of our extra stuff on the the bottom of the pantry floor like trash bags extra paper plates and stuff i decided to just use this cabinet for all of the extra stuff so it doesn't end up on the pantry floor So any of the bins or containers in the pantry that are white are from Ikea. And then anything that is clear is from Amazon. But it's been a while since I've told this story. So if you're eating, just beware. But one time I went in our pantry several, a couple of years ago and I saw like this little worm type thing. And at first I was like, not completely alarmed by it but then I started seeing more of them and I asked Chris I'm like what is this he's like oh it's just you know it's fine it's nothing not a big deal or anything like that and I even had pest control come in and look because it wouldn't be like infested but there would be like one or two at a time and then like the next day I would see like one or two again kind of like some of them were crawling on the wall so I even had him come and he was like, oh, those are nothing to be concerned about. So I just thought, okay, okay, we'll take care of them as we see them. About a week or two later, I kid you not, I started seeing almost like little cocoon type things. And that's when I started to freak out a bit. All right, so maybe you know what they are already, maybe not. But about a week or two after that, we started seeing moths everywhere so it turns out that they were pantry moths and if you've ever dealt with pantry moths like they multiply and they can like infest your pantry in your home and it is just it was so mortifying like I, I told Chris at one point I know I'm dramatic but I was like I want to move out of this house it is it's it wasn't like terrible but there were moths we've started seeing them everywhere not only that they were a pain to get rid of so real quick right here i had this little container from ikea and i had it in one of my drawers in the kitchen and i decided i didn't like it in the drawer so i took it out so i had it kind of just by the side but this thing is perfect for everything baking so i like to make our own um the girls birthday cakes so it's kind of perfect because i can put the dye and the sprinkles and kind of section it out and i just thought that was a, cu a cute idea but back to my story um, anyway so what happens what later I found out googling it because we finally we didn't know what it was for a while is that they will they will like lay eggs in grain type things so I think that I had seen a bunch in one of our cereal boxes but you can like get them from buying bread at a grocery store if the grocery store has has kind of a problem with them or in cereal and stuff like that so I think that it was either from a cereal box or from a 
um, grant like oatmeal or something that we must have had and then it that's where it started and then it just continued to spread so what I did was I had to basically get rid of just about everything in our pantry I didn't have anything in jars or containers everything was just in its original boxes so I, I did have to get rid of all of that so the good thing about organizing and putting it in like sealed tight containers is that bugs or in case you do have pantry moths they are going to be contained and don't spread everywhere so I got rid of everything in our pantry pretty much and then anything that I thought was still good I, I sealed it in plastic bags that way I could see like where it was coming from like if it was there were still eggs in there and like a couple days later if there was a moth that grew in there then you knew that that kind of was in, an infested or thing that needed to be thrown away. And then I bought these moth traps and put them all over the house. Now, I, I, like I say, it wasn't like infested, like you would just walk in and there was just moths all in your face. There would just be like every day I would see two or three and it just, knowing that it came through there was, was just like gross, I guess you can say. But anyway, luckily we have never had an issue since then. But a couple months later, I did go to a grocery store and I was looking in the bread section and I saw a moth flying around and I knew exactly that, exactly what it was. And I ended up not buying bread that day because a lot of it comes from grocery stores too. So just be on the lookout. You were my best friend. Didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends. I'll be in fools, drift in the deep space So brave and so stupid, just like the movies How it's gonna stay in the fight with you Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it Each and every high, every night with you You and me so clueless We were just broken, shattered, singing So now I have everything cleaned out and in those bottom um, shelves that I added, I do have refrigerator liners on the bottom because I'll put like potatoes, some kind of sometimes like vegetables like that or fruit, limes and lemons. And if any of them go bad, what happens is they start like leaking stuff on the bottom. So I just have those liners on the bottom. So if I do have something that goes bad, which happens pretty often, then it doesn't leak all over the floor.
so I am going to do a quick pantry restock if you notice I don't buy a ton of snacks because I am a big snacker and so are my kids and I know what happens is it just all the snacks get eaten and no real food as you can say gets eaten so even though school's starting I'm gonna try to not buy a whole bunch of like snacky snacky foods and keep it as healthy as possible, but we'll see if I cave later on. I mean, not everything in here is super nutritionist, but we're gonna try. And the area that I'm going to finish with is our drink refrigerator outside. We have this refrigerator outside. We have a refrigerator and freezer inside. And then we have our deep freeze, which was the one that went out a couple of weeks ago. And the meat just spilled all over the garage. So if you haven't seen that video, then I'll link that up here at the top. But this one here is mainly drinks and anything that doesn't fit in our other refrigerator, but mainly drinks. And it hasn't been cleaned in, I don't know, the last time it was cleaned actually. So we're gonna clean this refrigerator out and then I'm gonna restock it with all of my LaCroix waters because I think LaCroix is the best sparkling water brand, that and Topo Chico. But let's get started. We went to this like back to school bash at their new school and it was like meet the teacher and everything and um, they had this whole table full of volunteer sign up and I'm looking at it and I'm going oh I'd love to to volunteer and like do all this stuff and it's like oh meet every week or meet bi-weekly and then I'm like what type of commitment are we looking at like I don't want to volunteer and then it'd be like a full-time job so but I did sign up for a fall festival, so I'm gonna start slow, and then as I get more time, I'm gonna try to do a lot more volunteer. So if you guys are, like any of you moms, are like room mom, or um, you volunteer a lot, like what are some good ideas that you do at your school, um, or what type of commitment do you feel like it is not too much, or um, like just the right amount of time? It's so weird, like I think I'm overthinking this a lot. Like everything about about starting school. Like I wanna be the cool mom and like really involved and like do all this stuff, but then I also am, I don't want to overwork myself either. 
but it'll be fine and I'll work out and um, needless to say I'm probably more nervous about it than the kids are but was anyone else that way when your kids started pre-k in kindergarten I'm sure I'm not the only one Just using the e cloths to wipe everything down I come to really like them so e cloths you just get them wet and then somehow you wipe down the surface and it kills 99% of the germs and you don't have to use any product or anything with it so fall is right around the corner and you guys know that I love seasonal decorating and this year for fall I'm stepping up my game I watched back my videos from the last two years and this year I'm going to do things a little differently and a little bit more elegant even though it's still 105 degrees outside but that's okay so make sure you are subscribed if you're not already so you don't miss when that video comes out but thank you guys so much for watching I hope you got some motivation to get a few things done also just a quick reminder to check out beyond body for your personalized wellness book and use my code MICHELLE10 for an additional 10% off. But we are all clean now and restocked up, but I will see you guys in my next video.